Where do you think you're going? Out? With who? Him? Yes. And you can't stop me. I'm in love. He's twice your age, Emily. So what, Mom? Are you jealous? Emily, wait a minute. Emily! Listen to me! Emily! Get back here, young lady, right you now! You can't stop me! I love him! She's pregnant. That's it, Emily. Good job. She's crowning. She's crowning. Dilated and ready to go. That's it. Okay for now. He's just real early. Can I hold him? I'm sorry, sweetheart. He's just too little. We have to take him away now. But name, name him John. Please. His name is John. Emily, Mrs. Locke, it's good to see you. How is he? He's amazing. He's the youngest preemie to ever survive in this hospital. He's had infections, pneumonia, you name it. And every time he knocked them out. He is a fighter, your little John. That's wonderful. The other girls say he's a miracle baby. And today, we're going to take him out of the incubator so you can hold him for the very first time. So who do I talk to about adoption? You can't smoke in here, Mrs. Locke. Oh, of course. I'm sorry? Is that the father? I, uh, I don't know who that is. Take your brother in the kitchen. There's someone here who wants to see John. It is coming down like cats and dogs out there. This nice gentleman wants to talk to you, John. So I want you on your best behavior. Understand? He's all yours. You like backgammon? Yeah. You seem to have a pretty good sense of the game. I'm Richard, John. I run a school for kids who are extremely special. And I have reason to believe that you might be one of them. Mind if I show you a couple of really neat things?
Did you draw that, John? I want you to look at these things. Of these things belong to you? Sleep? No, no, John. Which of these things belong to you already? You sure the knife belongs to you, John? You sure about that? Oh, it doesn't. How did he do? I'm afraid uh, John isn't quite ready for our school. I'm sorry I've wasted your time. Okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Get to class, ladies. Tardy Bell just rang. John, you're bleeding. Come on. Let's go to the nurse's office. You want to talk about it? No. I know you're probably upset right now, but I do have some exciting news for you. I got a call from Portland recently. There's a company up there doing some very exciting things in chemistry and new technologies. They're called Mitalos Laboratories. I spoke with a Dr. Alpert. He's very interested in finding young, bright minds to enter in these new fields of science. They want you to go to their camp this summer. Science camp? Yes. Don't you understand that things like science camp are the reason why I get stuffed into lockers? John, this is a great opportunity. How do they even know about me? Well, they must have sent a rep to the science fair. Your display at Costa Mesa. I'm not a scientist. I like boxing and fishing and cars. I like sports. I'm going to tell you something. Something I wish someone had told me at your age. You might not want to be that guy in the lab surrounded by test tubes and beakers, but that's who you are, John. You can't be the prom king. You can't be the quarterback. You can't be a superhero. Don't tell me what I can't do. Game. It's my favorite game, actually. I used to play it with my brother. It's called Mousetrap. How do you play? 
Well, you start with all these parts off the board, and then, one by one, you build the trap. Shoe, bucket, tub. Piece by piece, it all comes together. And then you wait till your opponent lands here on the old cheese wheel. And then if you set it up just right, you spring the trap. Go ahead, kiddo. May I help you, ma'am? Yes. Um, could you tell me where the footballs are? Yeah. Um, I'll eight for regulation, I'll 15 for nerf. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm your mother. Uh, look, Miss... Uh, I don't know why you think I'm your son or how you found me, but... You're adopted, aren't you? No. No, I was raised in a foster home. Not, well, several foster homes, actually. Look, I don't mean to be rude. What do you want from me? I want to tell you that you're special. Very special. You're part of a design. You do realize that, don't you? That our meeting, me finding you, this is a sign of things to come. Great things. My father. Is he still alive? Still alive? Oh, John. Don't you understand? You don't have a father. You were immaculately conceived. Emily Annabeth Mock. In 10,000 words or less. So, she's my mother. I lifted some hairs from her car and matched them with your DNA samples. It's 99% certain. She was institutionalized a few times. What for? Nothing criminal or violent. It's a type of schizophrenia. Apparently, if she stays on her meds, she's OK. What about my father? Here's the thing. Your mother sought you out, so she's fair game. But this guy, maybe he doesn't even know you exist. And I've done this enough times to know this stuff isn't meant to be, even though it may feel that way. But this probably won't have a happy ending. So, do you want it or not? I want it. Your name is? John. John Locke. I'm Anthony Cooper's son. Mr. Cooper doesn't have a son. Tell him I, I don't want anything. My mother is Emily Locke. Please? Just a minute. Yeah, Mr. Cooper, I got John Locke here. Says he's your son. Yes, sir. Oh, you can go on in, sir. This is 
awkward. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me, sir. I'm, uh, John. Something tells me I'm going to want a drink for this. You want a drink? Um, yeah. All right, great. Scotch, OK? Yeah, that's, yeah, thanks. So who found who? I'm sorry, sir? Emily, your mother. Did she find you, or did you find her? She found me. How did she look? All right, I guess. Did she say anything about me? She said I didn't have a father, that I was immaculately conceived. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I guess that makes me God, huh? I didn't even know you existed until a year after you were born. She told me she wasn't even going to have the baby, did you, at all. And she drops off the face of the planet. When she turns up again, she's asking me for money, telling me she put you up for adoption. You going to drink that or what? You have a family of your own? No, sir. Me neither. <laughs> I tried it a couple times. Didn't take. Do you hunt? No. <laughs> no. You're not one of those animal rights nut jobs, are you? No. No, sir. What are you doing this Sunday? Nothing. You want to go hunting? Uh, <laughs> I'd like that. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that very much. Morning, Eddie. Morning, Mr. Locke. You gentlemen gonna get some birds again? I sure hope so. Anthony? You weren't supposed to be here till 12. Uh, I thought you said 11. What is this? It's a dialysis machine. My kidney's failing. Damn doctors say I need a transplant. When? Tomorrow, if it were up to me. I'm on the donor list. But I'm an old man, and it's a long list. How long? John, the dialysis will be fine for a while. I didn't tell you for this exact reason. I'm not going to let this spoil what's going to be a fantastic day, and neither should you. So I'll get done here, and we'll, we'll have a nice lunch. And Go shoot some birds. These doves fly a lot faster than you think. So you gotta really lead them. If you have to drop it in high cover, you... Got him. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Good shot, son. John, uh, your mother, she may be a little crazy, but at least she brought us together. Thank God it happened now, while well, we still have time. Let's find your bird. You can still change your mind. Nah, they already shaved my back. <laughs> I'm so thankful for you, John. This was meant to be. See you on the other side, son. What you did was so kind. Where's my father? Who? We had the transplant together. I didn't know he was your father. We don't have the same last name. Where is he? Mr. Cooper checked out this afternoon. 
He went back home. He's under private care. That doesn't make any... What? <laughs> Did he leave me a message? No, not that I know of. You just relax, Mr. Locke. I'm going to get you some juice. It was his idea. I'm sorry, John. What are you doing here? I needed some money. He's always been good that way. Your father's always been generous. You told me I didn't have a father. Well, he said that was the only way you would give it to him. It had to be your idea. He told me where to find you. He, he asked me to go see you. I wanted to see you. This can't be happening. This, this is a misunderstanding. This, this can't happen to me. You wouldn't do this to me. He w wouldn't do this to me. <laughs> Eddie! Eddie, open the gate. Mr. Cooper's not seeing guests. I'm not a guest. I'm sorry, John. Open the gate. I'm sorry. I'm gonna need you to move your car. I know you're watching me. You can't do this. John, please, move your car. Get your far as Bridgeville. Come on, hop in, come on. My name's John. Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hey. Nasty day to be hitching. That's for sure. You don't mind my asking, what's in Eureka? I heard there was uh, some work there, cutting timber. Oh, is that what you do? That might be what I do. I don't know. All I know is that I had to get out of where I came from. Mom's dead, dad's a drunk. Hey, look at that. The rain is passing. <laughs> Rob a bank? Right, so. Can I see your license and registration, please? Was I speeding, officer? Tail lights out. 
you both please step out of the vehicle? What do you got back here? Guns and groceries. Now, the, the transaction logs and the paperwork for all of them is in the red notebook right there in that duffel. So are we free to go? I could still take you in for picking up a hitchhiker. Oh, that's my uncle. They called him, he picked me up. Get out of here. So what is with all the guns? Uncle? Hey, Bobby. What's that? That, Eddie, is our sweat lodge. A what? Anybody who wants can go in there and light a fire and get it nice and hot, meditate. Then what? And then you're supposed to figure out what to do with your life, you know, what, what direction to take. Go on in there and figure out if you're a, a farmer or a hunter. So which are you, John? Hey, John. Hey, Mike, Jan, this is Eddie. He's looking for some logging work, but I convinced him to come home and have supper with us first. Oh. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Nice to meet you. Any friend of John's is a friend of ours. Right. John's a very special guy. Grab a spot. So you like Geronimo Jackson, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all right. It's one of my dad's old shirts. Dad has excellent taste. Listen up, people. John brought a guest to supper. So, um, everyone, this is Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hey, Eddie, Eddie, this is everyone. Nice to meet you. John, you want to say some grace? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the food and the friends. And thanks for the rain today, so that Adam will stop grumbling about the droughts. <laughs> And for me, thank you for helping me stop being so angry. And, and for helping me find a real family. Uh, because they're a hell of a lot better than the one I used to have, so let's eat. Amen. 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 Let's dig in. Uh, thank you. 